So we have this Sony LED TV and let's just turn it on here. So turn on. So there we go. Let's see it turns on. And then after a couple of seconds it turns off. So it after the TV turned off, there was a flashing light and this uh, light flashed six times. You can go online and see the error codes for that. Now I'm just disassembling the uh, back. It has the screws. Just go around and keep all the screws um, in the same place. I first tested it out and I thought it was the power at first, but uh, later I did see that code and looked it up. So we confirmed that it was the backlight. So I have to remove all the circuitry and this front screen to get at see that backlight. What you do is pull it up on a 30 degree angle and there's these little clips that you can pull that right out. There's a little clip that you have to push up. Just using the flat screwdriver you just push that little clip down. That one worked okay. all the screws as shown. That plastic shielding. So I'm just putting them all in the same order. So these cables that go to the back lights. Remove the two screws on the left and the two screws on the right and disconnect the two middle connectors. A little plastic clip and going around the outside. There's these little brackets that pulled on the screen. push in a little bit and there's just a little clip and you just slide them out. A little clip you can see there. Continue removing those clips. There's a total four uh, of those clips. So I'm flipping the TV over again. Now continue to remove the speakers on uh, the left and right. ribbon cable. This just flips up. So to remove that, the little lip, you can just use your, your fingers and squish it. It comes right off. Look at that. I've got some scotch tape. It onto the screen. Want to break that? Now break the lead to remove the 
screen, I got these suction cups from Canadian Tire. Ever slowly push down. Look at that, just pops right off. So, remove these little rubbers. There's several layers. You want to tape the layer. These are all the LED strips. I'm not going to test. Those are all okay. You can see that this guy does not turn on. This guy turns on, but this guy does not. So that's a bad LED. Now I have to figure out the voltage of each. So on this strip, the total voltage is 15 volts. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. So it's three volts each. Luckily for me, I have six volts. That one's six volt. And we have some three volt ones. Because these strips are quite expensive, it would be like over $100. But we're just going to break this off. Here's the replacement uh, LED, it's uh, 3 millimeters by 3 millimeters, and I'll show you the back side of it too. Um, it has the the fat pad is uh, negative and the small one is positive. Oh, we're going to be desoldering the uh, LED. I'm using my soldering iron, and you can't uh, save that old LED. It I just basically. Uh, heat it up so hot that it kind of burns right off then I put solder paste on uh, Just to help it so that you can uh, solder it off using a you can either use a hot air gun or a soldering iron after that I Put on um, some liquid solder and then I use a heat gun to get the LED to to be to be on there After replacing all the LED strips and fixing all the LEDs, I tested them and now I just have to put on the cover that I uh, took off. I'm just using super glue and sticking the, the filter back on. Now all I have to do is uh, the reverse process of putting everything back on and uh, assembling the TV making sure that everything is the same way that it was originally. So here's the screen going back on uh, with using suction cups. So here's the repaired TV. I've uh, enjoyed uh, fixing this. If you want to see some other repair videos, go over to nuisanceelectronics.ca and then scroll on over and uh, look for Claire blog and you can see other videos.